Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel again. This is Thomas from Unlucky Gaming bringing you another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last time we completed the routes in between Salacion Town and um, Veilstone. This time we have a new city to explore so we are going to do so. Additionally we have a new gym so I think we're going to tackle that as well. As you can see I uh, did change up the team a little bit. I re-added Nine and Nebula, deposited Denny and Humpty, and I decided to keep Thumper in the team. I think Thumper might be a little bit helpful. Oh, and I guess I still have Magnet. Magnet almost feels like a real team member. Um, you know, we haven't walked with our starter at all. So, we'll up to walk with starter, talk to this person, not a whole lot, but if we go into this building. Welcome to the Veilstone City Department Store. I'm here to buy. I, first thing I'm buying, a bunch of super repels, gonna buy some great balls, Gonna buy a ton of Ultra Balls. And you know what? I'm okay with that amount for right now. Talk to this person. We can buy any healing item. I'm not too interested in that. I almost have the berries to supplement that for me. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. This floor. We talk to this person. She'll give us the counter wrap. just helps you count. Like to this person, you can buy vitamins. Talk to this person, you're able to buy X items and just general battle items. Come over here. And nothing. Let's go to the next floor. Talk to this person. And we were able to buy TMs. You're able to buy a low sweep, a bulldoze, a U-turn, false swipe, rest, protect, safeguard, reflect, light screen, substitute, endure, workup, swords dance, double team, and flash. If we go down here though, we get to buy a couple heavy hitters. Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Driver Ball, Giga Impact, and Hyper Beam. We're gonna buy a couple of these. First off, gonna go ahead and buy Flamethrower. We're gonna buy a Thunderbolt TM. Also going to buy an Ice Beam. Just to have. I think I'll also get a Psychic and a Dazzling Gleam, I think. I don't really want Fire Blast. I don't want these three. I want... Yeah, I'm good with those. Then coming over here again. I think I'm interested in Bulldoze. I'm honestly just gonna buy the potentially good moves for my team. Ball swipe, I'll definitely come back for. Yeah, I'm good with all of those. Now, like a kid in a toy store, as soon as he finds out he's getting a toy, I wanna go and play with some of mine. We just bought a ton of TMs. We're gonna go and sort all these by number. Flamethrower can be learned by Thumper. Nebula. I think it's time for you to become a fire breathing fairy. And you know what? We're gonna get rid of 
Sweet Kiss for this. Psychic can also be learned by Nebula. Same with Thunderbolt. Nimbus can learn Ice Beam. Where's Bulldoze? Did I buy Bulldoze? I was kind of hoping Sir Cat could learn that. I think I'm going to get rid of Disarming Voice for Dazzling Gleam. Thunderbolt, I don't think I want to give to Nebula. We'll see what it ends up getting. But I am tempted to teach Nimbus Ice Beam. In the name of getting rid of Play Rough. In the name of getting rid of Round, actually. Just because I think that would really throw off some of the things that my friends are going to see. And you know what? I plan on having Magnet in my upcoming battle with one of my friends. Quite honestly... I'm okay with getting rid of Spark for this. Still have a TM Psychic, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Nimbus... Clefairy just got a whole lot better. And we still have another floor. Two more floors. <clears throat> Talk to this lady. You're able to buy secret base items for the underground. Talk to this lady, she'll have more of those. Then I think, oh, that person at the bottom is actually a clerk. Up here, don't really think, you actually can't get something up there. We'll go and talk to this lady. Oh. It, it's something for poison types. Sticky Barb, that, okay, so maybe not for poison types, but... That's what I was thinking. The Veilstone department store is something that... And I'm coming back to at some point. And since we went through and got everything I already want... I am going to do a little bit more spending. If we come over here, I'm going to buy 10 more Ultra Balls, just because you never have too many of those, and I'm buying 40 more Super Repels. Now broke. We do have items we can sell, but you know what? I am okay with that. I feel like my team just got so much better. If you look over to the right, you see these stones. You can use those stones to change the forms of Deoxys. Come up here, you have the... T the, uh... Mm -hmm. Bottle, pee, pee up. Come over here, you have the Veilstone Galactic Building. I'm not going to give this a visit yet, as we're gonna spend a decent amount of time here later in the game. Um, if we come up here... Bios Metronome Distribution Center. I see. Well... If this was back in the day... This used to be the game corner. So what can you get here? You get my new outfits? Oh, 
The only reason why I like this leather jacket one is because of the... Is simply because of the purple. Purple is genuinely probably my favorite color. And we're gonna keep that in mind. Because player customization is cool. And I view it as something that's definitely worth doing. Come over here. Uh, this is where you would have gotten the coin case, I think. You give a massage to a Pokemon. And just because I think it'd be odd if you gave Scroopy a... Oh, found a sticker. You'll give massages to Pokemon every day. It was increased happiness. Keep in mind for the happiness evolutions. This guy would have given the coin case. Well, that's pretty much it for Veilstone. But we got a gym to take care of. Go and head up here. Hey, unlucky, are you going to take on the gym leader? Wow, you just keep getting tougher and tougher. Well, I took a look at the department store, and I mean, yeah, of course I've been working on my Pokedex, but, well, uh, anyways, keep it up, I'll see you around. You already know we are going to the gym. Lift some... I will be showing all the battles in the gym, just because, uh... It is the gym. I uh, kind of forgot about the. Um, I forgot that it's a different layout, and it's the original layout again. Um, I guess right off the bat, trainer of interest, Machoke. We have not seen one of these yet. Uh, but luckily, by the end of this gym, if you haven't seen one, uh, you messed up. <laughs> it's about as simple as that. Um, I'm gonna continue using Pluck. I kind of wish that Swablu would get a better move for, um, what's it called? For flying. Like, I wish you could buy Aerial Lace. That would be so nice. We see Thumper get to level 20. I don't really want scary face. I'm gonna go back to Pluck. I just realized I don't think either all. I guess I'm pretty sure they learned Hurricane. Maybe even Sky Attack, but... They are not known for Flying-type moves, but I guess Pluck isn't that bad of a move. Let's see Sir Cat to jump up to level 28. See Machop make a debut. Use the Oh, did he steal the shell bell? Hopefully that doesn't like permanently steal the shell bell. That'd be pretty lame. Going to go ahead and heal up. Nimbus. Uh, 
I want to battle it, all these trainers just because you don't get the opportunity to battle them again even if you do come in here with the Versus Seeker. They, they're they just limited to before uh, you battle the Gym Leader. I will note that I do not have to go through this gym with Swablu if I don't want to. I could also use Nebula, but Swablu... I feel like fits better for this gym. Plus, Nebula is gonna end up being used against the gym leader anyway. There's the, the Machoke. I believe this is the guy that has the Metatite. As we see Thumper, Magnet, and Nimbus all level up. Let's learn Magnet Rise. I don't think so. You know what? I'm more likely to use this than I am to use Gyro Ball. Here's the Metatite, level 26. Easy knockout. Alright, I want to battle this guy now. As I think this guy will be the guy with the Metatite? Yes. This guy will have a level 20 and Metatite. We're going to use Pluck here. What? Wow. I just realized, I should have really taught 9 Ice Beam, whatever. Okay, well, Nebula, time to make your debut. Go ahead and use a Dazzling Gleam. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god, I love the happiness in this game. If you've never played a Pokemon game before, and you watching this, so let's, let's say you're an eight-year-old watching this, and you're watching me play, this is probably the game you want to experience first. Because this game is very... Very player friendly. Like all that happiness stuff that happens, it's so ridiculous. Now, I will say, it hasn't reappeared, which I am thankful for. But, I can see how it would be helpful for someone who is trying to get into Pokemon. Now, I will say, things like that appeared in Gen 6, or like the games that had Pokemon Ami, but you had to get fully maxed out Pokemon and Pokemon Ami to get that. So, to change it to simply just happiness, kinda... Oh, there's an actual puzzle to this. Damn it. I didn't really want a puzzle to do, I thought I could just kind of walk through this place. Challenge by Black Belt Cody. Colby. Colby.
Um, this guy just has three Machokes, so... I'm just going to try and beat these with as much efficiency as I can. Quit knocking off my Shell Bell! I wonder how Play Rough does. I know Play Rough... Play Rough does more damage, but... I guess it and Pluck should do the same amount. The same time attack bonus is like one and a half. I'll, I'll see how much Play Rough does against the next Machoke. Nebula and Nine both level up. Alright, we're gonna try out Play Rough. Alright, so it does about the same. That might hurt. God damn it. Just in time for Nebula to save the day. Bumper grows to level 22. And one final Machoke. I'm honestly kind of curious to know if Nebula can one-hit one of these. I hope so, because it's six levels over. Yeah. I knew you could do it. Nebula is so good. So I think we do this, and hit this, alright, now we're done with this side for now. Alright. Now we do this, now I do that, now we do this. I do this, I do that. Do this. Go all the way through. Then bam, 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 bam. We set up the middle. All right. Beautiful, now we go back through here. We go back through here, now, now watch this. Push this over, and we run back. Push this one back through. Now we go up, go up. Boom! I solved a puzzle for a children's game. Here we have the gym leader, Maylene. Bring it on. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong, or how I got to be the gym leader. But I will do the best I can as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously. Whenever you're ready! Veilstone City Gym Leader, Maylene. Has three Pokemon. Opens up with Metatite, Fighting Psychic type. Pure power for its ability. With the moves Drain Punch, Confusion, Detect, and Meditate. That's the wrong move set. What the heck? That's the Platinum move set. My bad. <laughs> Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Light Screen, and Flash. Alright. Well. Good thing we are using physical moves. I'm gonna go for another pluck here. 
And that should use her second hyper potion. Damn, we even got some pretty bad rolls. Uses a flash. Going to lower our accuracy. Let's meditate. I'm really hopeful she doesn't send out a different mon. Sends out Machoke, level 27 fighting type, guts for its ability. But the moves Bulldoze, Low Sweep, Rock Tomb, and Knock Off. Rock Tomb could be very lethal. Low Sweep. 38 times 2. What is that? 76? So we should lead. We should be fine. That's gonna kill. Dwaglu, I cannot wait for you to evolve. I'm gonna go and send out Nebula. This might get out of hand. I'm gonna go and use Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> Goes Mitchell. Rock Team. I'm gonna slow us. Knocked off the Quick Claw, not ideal. But down goes Machoke. See a leveled up from both Nimbus, or from both Nebula and Thumper. Let's learn Meteor Mash. Nah, we're gonna keep Life Dude just in case. We're gonna drop Metronome. Well, Thumper gets a level up. <laughs> for Ace, Lucario, Fighting Steel type, steadfast for its ability. Holding the big root, using Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Screech, and Metal Claw. Oh, <laughs> um. Um, that would, that would, that uh, hmm. That was my plan for the gym. Flamethrower on, no, okay. That's not ideal. Um, I'm gonna use Drain Punch. How much is this gonna do? Almost one hits it. Landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. Well, let me tell you right now, Purple Up, that was fucking amazing. Alright. Um. Drain Punch is gonna kill. Probably bring Lucario back to about a third. Yeah. We could lose this. <laughs> the thing about Lucario is that it is weak to fighting, so if we can live a hit from Lucario... Oh. That's gonna bring it back to almost full health. I am in a pickle. Again, I hope that we can live this and go for a thunder wave. Yes! Show me the heart! Oh, it is sturdy! Dub! Dub City! Wave, goaded, goaded. Um, I have to pray for a paralysis right here.
I'm gonna have to magnemite stall the shit out of this. I... Okay. Come on, just pro. Come on. Dream Punch is like 20 uses too, doesn't it? Either that or 15. 10. So I just have to keep track of how many more times it's gonna almost one hit me. Magnemite do be the goat for this. Come on! What are the other moves it has? It, it has... Has what? Bulk up, Screech, and Metal Claw. I really wish I had revives. And I really wish this thing would get fucking paralyzed. Like, Jesus Christ! What the hell am I supposed to do? Aside from healed like a bitch. Alright, so I've used three super potions. And I've used three Moo Moo Mooks. This will be number four. So it shouldn't have any more drain punches. Alright, use Screech. Now this is what is concerning. Is the use of Screech. I think I just have to be going for the Thunderbolts here. Oh my god, that did a lot. Dude, we win! We win! Playing like a bitch got me to win! Yes! Yes! Magnet the goat! Yeah! Who played like a bitch? I played like a bitch. <clears throat> Gonna see a level up for Magnet there. Oh, thank god. We defeated Gym Leader Mei Lee. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. Please, accept this gym badge. Hell yeah, I'm going to accept it. And look at how dusty my other two are. We received the cobble badge from Maylene. We're now able to use the move Y outside of battle, and we're able to obtain the stickers that uh, Maylene uses. And then here are some drain punches. Pretty good gig for us. We walk out of the gym. Oh, lucky, listen, I need your help. I dropped my Pokedex by accident and Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back. Please, I need you to help me. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Now, Lucas, I would love to help you, but I got something else planned for you. I will be back in a second. Alrighty, as you can see, I decided to add Greta back to the party. This is because I got another battle ahead of me. I'd like to introduce somebody that is going to be doing these battles with me. Hello, Danny. Hello. Uh, so, you need to go to the top of the Pokemon Center, all the way to the right. Yeah. And then, uh, the Battle Coliseum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Single, right? Uh, yep. Uh, go ahead and set a code if you beat me to it. With a link code? Did you set a code or do I need to? Uh, you need to. Alright, um, I'm gonna just make it 78 four times. Alright, tell me when, I, when you're in. I'm, I'm in the room. <clears throat> or entering the room. 
I am in the room. I am communicating. Please stand by. Alrighty. There you are. Is that you? Yep, I'm standing in my square. Alright. Preparations are done. I can decide I'm gonna use six mons level 50. Uh, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. That works for me. Side team. I could definitely be a little bit more optimal with the items that I have in my mods, but it's okay. Yeah, me too. Don't even worry about it. Oh god, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> oh, what are you open with? That is for me to know and for you to find out in about 10 seconds. I think this is what I open with, right? I gotta redeem myself here. I'm 0 2 up to this point. <laughs> we'll see. Open with bronze or What are you gonna set a reflect or some bullshit like that? I mean, I think there's something way stronger than reflect right now. At least at this point in the game. Oh, um, yeah, there's that. I yep. didn't think that they could get that. I would have set up Toxic Spikes, but I'm scared of the Gengar. You have served your purpose. After the battle, if you want, we can talk about the, uh, the one thing that I haven't talked about in my videos, but mm -hmm. a certain five of us have talked about quite a bit. Mm -hmm. God, what do I do? I guess this is the most optimal. I feel like I'm in a good scenario here. So if I do this, I forgot this thing doesn't have fucking sturdy. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna sandstorm thought, into yeah, no, self destruct. I, I, I dead ass was just waiting for the fucking sturdy proc. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's okay. You're throwing for content, right? That's the, uh, that's the idea. I. <laughs> this thing is gonna content. make me. Oh, oh, and three, isn't it? I was really hoping that I would be able to make this thing a Magnezone before the next battle. Uh huh. It's level 29. Aww. <laughs> it evolves in one level. Aww. <laughs> Massive. What the hell? Rhyhorn? You. There's no way you have a Rhyhorn with Lightning Rod. Why? I don't know, man. You, you and you are weird community of competitive battlers. Hey man, it, it, that Grand Underground dude, it got that, it got that stuff, you know? Oh, you've been using my spreadsheet? <laughs> no, I found this on complete accident. Yeah, that's one of the rare spawns. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this was complete luck. I'm not looking forward to using some of these mons, like in the battles until they evolve. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, Clefairy can be kind of a monster, if you know what you're doing. Oh, 100%. Especially, especially at this point in the game. You know, I found out something about, uh, oh, you have Quick Claw. Oh, you have Quick Claw. I do. That information is, uh, good to know. 
I was gonna say, um, I found out that you can't get an EV light in this game. It's not an item available. Are you sure it's not available in the underground? Uh, no. It's actually just not in the game. How much is this going to bring me to? There's that quick claw. Am I gonna get lucky again? That's how Matt beat me. He got three quick claws in a row. Oh Actually, my been, god! Been... Yeah, it was it was ridiculous. Yeah, I, I believe it. Phoenix Penguin 9, you know? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. D9, dude. I understand. Oh, God. Well. One in doubt. <sighs> Gyrados. Gyrados. There's one. Dude! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say, if I get another one, that will, uh, that will not be fun. Now the big question is, am I faster than Rhyhorn? Probably. And you're gonna be shocked. Oh Christ. Oh that <laughs> Yep. <laughs> 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 oh god. How oh you bought it at the department store. Yep. yep. Literally at the beginning of the episode I was recording, I'm like, damn, my team just got a lot better. Fucking Clefairy's got a flamethrower. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So nice. Uh, do I throw for content? Wait. That's not right. Huh. Did you think this thing was a fairy type? I completely forgot it's a normal type right now. It's normal flying, right? It's not a dragon type yet? Not a dragon type. Oh. <clears throat> oh, there's me throwing for content right there. With the shell ball, dude. It's terrifying. <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay. He, you, I just need to hit one, right? I just need to hit one. Do you? Yep, I, I just need to hit one. Oh no, I'm asleep.
if you do what I think you're gonna do, it's a 500 IQ play. But if you don't do it, then I don't know what you're doing. That's a good like, question. there's a move that there's a move that if you have it, you should be using. Like you would have chosen it already. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't. What's what's the TM? Oh, you get I on fucking the fat fingered that. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> well, you know I have Wonder Guard or whatever, or whatever natural cure. That's what it is. So my thought would have been that you would have used Payback, knowing that I was switching and just. You mean Pursuit? Me. Oh yeah. Same thing. We'll start with these. Nah. Pursuit's gone, dude. You gotta, you gotta cope, man. Is it no longer in the game? It's been removed since Gen... 7, I want to say? I could be completely wrong on that. It might be... Maybe another generation. Also... It's gonna be one of these days. Oh, don't worry. My Frost last son I'm gonna have? Oh yeah, no, I'm waiting for that. So... Ooh. I'm going to give you a little insight. Mm -hmm. Cameron's team is built to perfectly counter mine. Right. But Cameron's team isn't built to perfectly counter some of the moves that these mods are going to have. Because mm -hmm. he went to he went to map. Right. It's like, okay, I can understand going to map for this. But... There is a strong possibility he's going to have no idea that what's it called can learn natural or er, learn ice beam. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready for that to catch him off guard. I forgot that thing is still alive. I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, you're just gonna, I know exactly what you're going to do in it. It is not worth. What am I gonna do? I already selected my move. <laughs> shockwave. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, Shockwave never misses. And it's like a super early. I think it's an early TM here. Yeah, That's you can board. get it right before this. Yeah, okay. As I assumed. Figured you're mock punching, right? Actually, I clicked flame wheel. <laughs> yep. See, now would be a good mock punch. Yeah. See, those toxic fights, though, that put me on a timer. Yeah, it was just Haunter, or else I would have led with Scroopy. <laughs> but yeah. Odd you miss, odd you miss, odd you miss. Damn it! When the 100 accuracy move lands. I'm really over three now. So upsetty spaghetti. It happens. It happens. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not too. I'm not too mad at it. I mean, you're essentially facing a team of baby Pokemon in mid stage. Yeah. It's like once I get the Lucario and the Frostlass. Mm -hmm. And I can actually, like, put a move set on this I team think, that fully balances I think everyone, everything. I'm assuming everyone's going to get their power boost literally within the next gym. Mine will be the sixth. I... Yeah, I'll tell you right now, I'm not planning to keep Staravia. Um, I figured not. But everyone else might stay. But we'll see. 
We will find out. Alrighty, well, <laughs> that was the battle. Didn't go my way again, but uh... Next time we're gonna have evolved Pokemon. Some fully evolved Mons. That's all I can really say. I wish I could say I'm shocked that I lost. I know the Ice Beam on, uh, on Nimbus threw him off, but it's tough. But we'll catch some dubs in the second half. That's kind of what I'm planning on, especially when I get my last two Mons. I'm really excited to see how I can sync them in with the team. But that is going to be all for today. This has been Thomas Run Like Gaming, bringing you more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond this time. We explored Veilstone City, expanded the moves on our, on our Pokemon significantly, went through the gym, went through our <laughs> annual battle. 0-3, not the happiest about that, but you know what? I think potentially next gym we'll get our first one. But... I don't know. You'll just have to see. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.